In today's video, I'm getting the chance to unbox as well as build the uh, new Lego Loop Coaster. This thing looks pretty exciting. Let's jump into it. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of different tech reviews as a, a Christmas gift I got from my wife uh, the uh, Lego Loop Coaster. Uh, so I'm going to unbox this and build it and then from my kids they actually got me the light up kit that uh, you can buy for this coaster to light it up. So let's unbox this, let's take a look at what comes with this Lego loop coaster so the lego loop coaster uh, is for ages 18 plus i guess i fit right into that category it is uh, number 10303 and it has 3756 pieces so let's take a quick look at the back of the box <laughs> Some previews of what's to come. It looks like it doesn't come with it, but it says here ready for powered up compatible. Uh, so you can hook the motor up to it with a battery to power it. I'm gonna see, I have a battery uh, that I use to uh, go ahead and automate the carousel, which is part of the fairground series, which this uh, roller coaster is also a part of and I did a whole uh, build of that as well and light up video So if you want to check that out, that'll also be linked down in the video description or popping up here in the cards somewhere So let's take a closer look at some of the pictures It's got the uh, coaster cars where you know, it's actually going to go through the loop the coaster itself goes up the lift which is uh, the crank lift that's here that you can then hook up to the motor which then takes the cars up to the top to launch it and you can also see here the uh, different station areas where they're going to be loading onto the coaster so let's take a look at the top of the box and we can see all the different mini figs that you get uh, so cool and then the accessories looking at the side of the box they also show the uh, coaster car as it gets to the top and it's getting ready to launch it. Okay, let's unbox this and see what we get. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, uh, let's put the book over there. There is a, another box inside this box. Look at all the bags that we have. So those are the first bags I dumped out. And then over here, these are all the ones that were in that second box. Each one of these has a number on it. So we got 10, 13. Here are some stickers that we're gonna apply uh, when we, we get the coaster built. And then here is the instructions. Oh my gosh. Look, look at this. Look at how thick this book is and you can see as per this first page uh, there are 15 different bags containing all the different pieces so uh, we're gonna get to work we'll throw this into time lapse and let's get to building this cool loop coaster
And a big shout out to Josh B, Donnie R, and Van Zill A, latest viewers on this channel to find Tinker. Tinker is our little hidden robot and he pops up in all the videos on this channel, including this video. So keep your eyes open for Tinker, our little hidden robot. If you happen to spot him, be the first person to correctly let me know the timestamp. That's the amount of time into this video that you spot Tinker popping up. And if you're the first person, you might get a shout out just like those previous people I mentioned in a future video on this channel, as well as I will put your name on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page. So keep your eye out for Tinker. So this is the light tailing uh, LED kit by uh, light tailing and uh, you can go to lighttailing.com. So this is not from uh, Lego, but you can see here, this is specifically for the loop coaster, um, LED light kit, a battery box, and then an installation guide. So this is specific to this particular set and unwrapped it, let's open it up. So inside we've got our instructions, comes with full color, wiring details for all the different areas that you are going to install the lights and i like how it's got all the different steps numbered and shows you where you need to put all the different pieces so this is going to take a little bit to attach all the lights also comes with some more instructions a smaller booklet with more details and information and then let's look at what's inside so we've got several different pieces box number one definitely seems to work i will say in looking at the wires they are super thin it does say in the manual to use caution um, they damage the lights damage easily and the wiring is really thin this is pretty cool the strip lighting that's included looks like all the lights including the strip lighting have a uh, sticky back so you peel off the cover and that allows you to stick it to whatever surface you're going to be adhering it to all right let's go with box number two very cool so this one not only is lighting up but has some flashing sequences to it as well so there are the two different boxes with lights that have a usb port and this looks to be the splitter this was in bag number three uh, that connects all the lighting at once into one uh, simple little USB plug. And then inside these other two bags here were these boxes and you can slide the tops off. It allows you to put in three AAA batteries. Uh, I'm assuming battery packs to power the lights. They have an on off switch on the back. On the side of these boxes where is where you're gonna plug in the uh, USBs for the lights. All right, so I'm gonna follow my instructions and just start adhering all the different lights to the different parts of the roller coaster and we'll see how this goes. So here it is, the Lego Loop Coaster. And this is the full assembly standing at roughly three feet tall. Uh, when I'm at full stance on top of the table here, it's nearly as tall as I am. And uh, it features everything from the loop on the coaster to the crankshaft for the lift. Uh, quite an amazing design. Several features that I wanted to point out uh, it, very interesting in how they had to come up with a completely vertical, straight up design. When you think of traditional roller coasters that have that angled lift, they had to overcome that by either adding more pieces and having this thing be much larger 
or coming up with the vertical lift, which is pretty awesome. There's the uh, crank that's on the side where you can crank it up by hand, or you can purchase one of the Lego motor systems, uh, one of which here that I'm gonna be hooking up in just a minute. Uh, to motorize it to save you from having to hand crank it. But if you don't have that motor system, again, that's not included. That's something that is sold separately. You can still hand crank the roller coaster uh, to get it to the top of the lift and then it automatically launches itself down the drop and the drop is straight down. So quite a drop for uh, all the riders on the coaster going into the looping system and just the entire design, the way they use the Lego track, uh, they had to design all of that to work interchangeably so that each piece of track, even though it's not fully connected, it's just butted up next to the uh, piece next to it, it all works so that the coaster never leaves the track. Now speaking of the coaster, the three cars that come with the, uh, the coaster train all interlock and then that rides on the rail system. Uh, the rail system is designed in a very unique way where at the bottom of the lift, uh, the system works where when the lift drops down to the bottom of the tower, the train automatically loads itself, the coaster cars onto the lift. And then once you start cranking, uh, when it gets to the top, it launches itself. There's a nifty little red gate right by the station that blocks the coaster so that if the lift isn't currently all the way in the bottom position, the coaster is not gonna slide into the lift by accident. The design of the station, very cool, modern look. Um, there's lots of different details here. Everything from the uh, ride attendant controlling the coaster to the safety gates that are in the station. You've got the entrance sign with the uh, height requirement sign as well as the, uh, the no, uh, you know, things not to have on the rides. The lift system itself is so neat in that it's got a uh, kind of like a dumb waiter on one side and then the pulley system working off of a cable as well as a chain. Then you could see all those chain links that needed to be assembled during the time lapse. Uh, so much thought put into the design of this unique roller coaster system. And if you're enjoying this video, take a quick second, smash that like button as it helps out this video and I greatly appreciate it. Let's light it up using the lighting kit that I installed and this is what it's gonna look like once we turn off the lights. So this light kit is so unique in that it features not only the different ribbons of lights that go around, say the loop sign uh, to completely illuminate it, but also lights that go underneath different uh, structure pieces by the lift to give it that nighttime illumination, more ribbon lighting by the loops in the coaster to brighten up that coaster area lighting up the station, lighting up the entrance sign, and with the station actually popping off the fake lights that the Lego set comes with and installing the wired lights, which as an added bonus, don't just turn on, but flash animated uh, to really light up the scene. Even lighting up the palm tree that's with the Lego coaster set uh, even making the camera at night, taking a picture of the riders on the coaster flash instead of just being a little uh, transparent Lego uh, piece that came with the Lego set. Couple of stats on the assembly. So with the help of my wife, thank you Val for helping me assemble the Lego loop coaster. It took us uh, roughly about seven hours to do the full assembly of the coaster. And then after that, adding in the lighting kit, that also took me an additional probably four hours. So a total of probably 11 hours between the assembly of the coaster, as well as putting together the lighting kit to make it look how it looks. Such a cool Lego coaster overall. Uh, my thoughts on this, it's just such a cool design. Uh, it is so much fun to watch, so much fun to operate, 
and just another cool addition to the amusement series for the uh, Lego set. So I'm interested to know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts of the Lego Loop Coaster down in the comments section below. My name is Jeff and as always I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make every day awesome and I will see you in the next video.